Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I didn't schedule any kind of project for this week, so I thought I would show you a shop tip I use for applying epoxy with old worn out X-Acto knife blades. The idea came to me when I was looking for something to mix, and I cut a piece of cardboard with a X-Acto knife, and the blade was dull, so I thought, why not use the blade to go ahead and mix it and apply it? It worked better than I imagined, and I thought I would share this with you. In this project, I am gluing two studs into a piece of wood. Uh, I put a piece of painter's tape over the surface to protect it, and here I'm using a sharp blade to cut small squares to be able to access the holes. After I've cut the holes, I use the sharp knife blade to cut a small square of cardboard that I will be mixing the epoxy on. After I'm done using the sharp blade, I remove it from the handle and put it to the side. I pull out my box of used blades. I sand off the sharp edges of the blade so I don't have to worry about cutting or pricking myself while I'm mixing or applying the epoxy. Once I've sanded off the edges of the blade, I stick it in the X-Acto knife handle and use that to mix up and apply the epoxy. Having the long handle on the blade makes mixing and applying the epoxy much easier than anything that I've used in the past. Since I have a lot of used blades laying around, I always have some available to mix epoxy. Once I have it all mixed together, I use a knife to scoop a little off and apply it to the threads of the studs and inside the hole. I just press the studs in and I'm good to go. Once I have the studs installed, a little bit of the epoxy squirts out the edges and I can use a knife to scrape off everything smooth and I don't have to worry about having clumps of epoxy. After everything is glued and cleaned up, I take the knife out, stick it in the glue, fold it over, just kind of let it sit and dry, and throw it in the trash. And that is how I give X-Acto knife blades a second purpose before throwing them out. I hope you found that tip helpful. I hope you can use it in your next project. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.